What's up, YouTube? So today we're going to talk about my wrecker and the off-road tow truck Olympics. Uh, but first, I got to address a few things. Um, the very first thing, uh, I must be doing something right because I'm starting to get haters. Uh, I got a hater comment. Um, here, uh, It's not on there anymore. It's deleted. But I did screenshot it first. Now I left Buddy's name out of it and I'm not going to uh, read the whole thing out. So if you want to pause and read it, that's fine. Um, but just a few points here. First off, um, I've never stated that I know everything about all the vehicles. I don't know everything about all of them. I know some things. Um... I do have a little bit of experience in the field. My father was a tow truck driver while I was growing up, so I've lived my life around the tow trucks and recovery scene. Um, I'm building my own off-road record currently. I mean, that's actually what this video is supposed to be about, and we'll talk about that later. And I have spent most of my life in the mud, out in the backwoods. Um, Kind of similar to BSF recovery team's situation with their trails. Um, and I've done many recoveries myself. Um, mostly with this girl right here. But uh, with Jeeps, Nissans, um, pulling out things that people told me, why even bother? You're not going to be able to pull that out. Um, do I know everything? Absolutely not. Do I know some things? Yeah. Do I know a lot? Maybe that's debatable. Secondly, um, riding high. I'm not trying to ride high here. I'm not trying to act like I, I'm just having fun on the internet. That's, that's all this is right here. So, uh, I don't know where you're getting that. Um, and also I'm not trying to call this guy out. I'm not trying to cause drama or anything. I just want to, uh, address a few points here. I'm not and trying to get brownie points from all these guys brownie points for what 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 would i benefit from from brownie points and which that brings me to this thing i'm not trying to benefit from this at all i'm not trying to get views i'm not trying to get brownie points or deals or anything i yeah I'm, these videos are actually getting a lot more views than my normal videos but that's not what i'm trying for here i'm not trying to benefit at all from any of this um i just like making youtube videos um most of my videos get like 25 to 100 views and i've been doing it for three years so if this was about me trying to benefit i think i would have stopped a long time ago so i just wanted to point that out there and actually he does make a good point about permission from the drivers um I don't know about the technicalities of that. I don't know if I actually need their per permission or not. Yes, I actually should have asked. That is a valid point. And I know most of them have seen these videos and they have commented on them and stuff. Um, they could have told me to stop. Now I know them not telling me to stop is not the same as permission. Um, I I'm aware of that. So um, Matt, Rory, Paul, Eric, Casey, if any of you guys see this or anybody else that I've mentioned or will mention in these videos, if you see this and you don't want me to talk about your stuff, please feel free to message me and I will stop. I will completely stop with it. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's all the points. Although um, I do somewhat have Matt's off-road recoveries permission um like five hours after this hater comment um john from morr commented saying he loves the videos keep it up it's a it's a good perspective they're enjoying it um so thank you john for that um john also made a few points that i may talk about in a future video and another thing um from another comment um previous video um i was joking about being appointed the guy to bring everybody together it was just a joke because somebody commented on one of the videos saying that I should do that. I have no relation to any of this at all. I have no authority over anything. That was just simply a joke. Um, there, there's no correlation. I just wanted to make that clear.
It's also recently come to my attention that um, Casey Liddell's Jeep that I mentioned in the previous video, uh, he actually no longer has. So I'm really sad to hear that. Um, I guess my fantasy of him floating on the snow past everybody is uh, gone. Uh, dream's dead. Um, so I apologize about that. I was unaware, but I've been informed now. Um, I want to try to keep these videos as accurate as possible so if there's anything wrong anybody please let me know um i'm trying to keep up with everything and um keep with the latest videos on everybody um yeah so if there's anything that i get wrong or i'm behind in or something yeah please let me know and i will update it as soon as possible i'd like to have this as accurate as i can got some constructive criticism on my videos of Kind of going back to the uh, too much of your face, um, but I got a more in-depth uh, comment about it saying, yeah, the, the walking around and the, my face is just too distracting. Maybe try to get a tr tripod. I do have one. I will try to set it up for next video. Too late for this one. Uh, it's already all filmed, but I will um, try to make these videos better. So... Just like the information part that I just mentioned, if there's anything I can do to make the videos better, more watchable, more easily watchable, more interesting. Um, yeah, I want to just continuous improvement with this stuff. I want to get the best videos I can. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be working on it. So now that um, I've spent half this video's time talking about those two comments mostly the first one um let's go on to my truck and i don't mean this beautiful suburban behind me i mean the crew cab that's in the other garage i'd be in there filming this right now but it is just way too hot in there today so i'm staying in the cooler side um now somebody commented i think it was on my first video saying because i said i'd like to possibly go with my truck um, now they said I could probably reach out to Matt, talk to him, ask if I could go. And you know, what? I probably could, I probably could ask him. Matt seems like a really good guy. Actually, all these guys seem like really genuine, good guys. Um, and he'd probably say, okay, but now here's all the excuses. I mean, reasons why I'm probably not going to go. That's the short story. I'm probably not going to go. And yeah, here's all the excuses why. So first off, if we walk to the hot side of the garage to check out my truck, here's its state right now. There is nothing to do with a wrecker yet. It is just a pickup. Uh, all the rear suspension has tons that I need to do still. Um, there's not even a drivetrain. I don't even possibly have tranny i want for it yet um the big block that was supposed to go in and actually wasn't for a while is sitting over there removed and possibly sold um and the engine that's possibly going to go in it is that wimpy little guy over there now i realize all these other guys are building their trucks they're currently all torn apart um they got tons of stuff to do and it is the Winter Olympics, so there is time. Um, I don't have a team. I am by myself, working in my garage a few hours after work every night, making YouTube videos too. Um, and so I just, between that and budget, I don't see my truck coming together anytime soon. It might, who knows? Um, I might be able to put this engine together, drop it in, line up a tranny, it might fire all up. Um, I'm trying to get a better welder because my welder sucks and I do not want to, for safety wise, I do not want to weld that all with a crappy welder. Um, I want to install all the wrecker stuff with proper welds so I don't rip my truck in half and break it or injure somebody or me. Um, so I got to try to line up a better welder first. And another excuse, or reason, whatever you want, you want to call it. Um, I don't have any way to haul it just yet. It's going to have to drive itself. Now, I could drive it down there. And if 
from where I am, it's about 18 hour drive with no stops. According to Google Maps, like 17 hours and 52 minutes or something like that. So realistically, two days driving down, two days driving back and the competition itself. So that's a lot to ask out of a truck, especially one that I'm just putting together. Um, so I won't be able to test its reliability just yet. In theory, yes, it should be reliable enough that I should be able to do that trip. But you never know, especially with a competition that's going to push the trucks to their limits. Um, driving it down there and then breaking it would really, really suck. Um, I have a trailer. The truck would probably overweigh the trailer, so I got to upgrade my trailer. Um, and I'm trying to work on getting a tow rig that I could haul it with. But kind of for now, that's going to be my tow rig slash tow rig um so yeah there's all that there the logistics part of it the f time the money if it all falls together and my truck's going well and i can line up a tow rig or something or whatever yeah sure i'd uh I'd love to message Matt and ask him and say, hey, can I come down and play with you guys? Um, I'd love to even just go down and just meet all of them and watch. But uh, even that, another part of that, probably the simplest um, thing to fix. I don't have a passport. I am in Canada. Um, passport itself would be really simple. That's another thing also is trying to get the truck down there across the border. I I've never got anything across the border before, so I don't know how that would go with um, getting a custom off-road wrecker across the border. I might be overthinking it. It might be simple. Just drive down there with my truck and be like, hey, yeah, I'm I'm from Canada. I'm coming down here for a few days. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. Or uh, it might be a process to try to get a custom truck like that across the border. I don't know. I'll, I might just have to convince them all to come up here to Canada. Now, all these things, I'm not going to lie, they, they are fixable problems. They're not, they're just more like obstacles. And I could possibly slash hopefully um, get through a lot of those. Um, one of the biggest ones is I'm not sure if I'm going to have a garage soon or anywhere to possibly even work on the truck. I'm trying to get it somewhat together enough that i don't have to try to install an engine in a field um but then yeah if i have to move and truck might have to go out to the farm for a while and get stored with all the other vehicles um hopefully it doesn't hopefully i can just build it hopefully i can get the record part going hopefully it can be an awesome driving truck um and yeah hopefully it all falls together but until then as of now for me personally going with my truck, it would be a no. Um, I'd like to. Um, maybe if he has this as an annual event. Um, maybe at some point a summer Olympics. Have a winter, have a summer. I don't know. But yeah, that's the situation on my truck. Um, there'll be more videos to come about building my truck. So feel free to follow me and watch that thing come together and this thing come together and a whole bunch of stuff maybe i can put this together and hold down there with this it's a possibility too all right take care youtube um keep the comments rolling i'm loving all of it good bad ugly um i love all the insights the opinions who thinks who's gonna do good who thinks who's gonna do bad um it's it's just awesome I, I i'm loving all of it um even the hater comment uh that made me laugh uh so yeah have a good one youtube so thanks for watching i'm gonna get back to wrenching on this so i can try to get that thing at least running and moving